Hey everyone, it's Julie. Today we'll be making a delicious lemon loaf. This recipe belongs to my friend Michael from the channel Freitas X. I will post his channel in the about section below so you guys can give him a visit later on. So now let's get started. So I like to start by sifting all of the dry ingredients which include the all-purpose flour and baking powder. Sifting will prevent your batter from being lumpy. And if you're anything like my mom and hardly ever bake, you'll probably think, eh, I'll just keep mixing until it isn't lumpy anymore. No, you never want to overmix unless you're making bread. So here I'm zesting one lemon, and zesting upside down is so much better. Do it this way and you can thank me later. So I like to add the lemon zest to my sugar and mix it together. I then add all of the remaining wet ingredients. And sugar is a wet ingredient. In one of my older videos someone said Julie sugar is dry sugar is considered a wet ingredient because it dissolves I added two eggs some sour cream sour cream will make your cake super moist I use it in my vanilla cupcakes no it won't taste like sour cream I added some vanilla extract one tablespoon to be exact don't think I over poured some melted butter and we're going to whisk that up and now the recipe only calls for one teaspoon of lemon zest. I honestly thought it was perfect. You have to keep in mind that the glaze we're going to make later on will be lemony. So you don't want the cake to be too lemony. So when you're done mixing all of the wet ingredients, you want to pour them into the dry tin and mix until they are all combined. And the first time I ever had a slice of lemon loaf, I honestly thought I wouldn't like it because lemon loaf is one of my grandmother's favorite pastries and she prefers things like crumb cake, rice pudding, and muffins over cupcakes and brownies. So with that being said, you can tell we don't share the same taste in pastries, but surprisingly, I ended up falling in love with lemon loaves. So in a meatloaf pan, I hope that's what you call it, I placed some parchment paper, greased it on the sides and bottom, it's all of the batter inside. You want to evenly spread the batter with your spatula. And we're going to bake this in a preheated oven at 400 degrees for 15 minutes. Then we're going to remove it and with a knife you want to form a crack. So you want to go down about a quarter inch. You want to place it back in the oven, lower the temperature to 350 degrees and let it bake for an additional 25 to 30 minutes. While our lemon loaf is cooling, you want to prepare the lemon glaze and this is what makes lemon loaf a lemon loaf. All we're going to do is add some powdered sugar, lemon zest, and lemon juice into a bowl, mix it together, and it's that simple. If you don't want the glaze to be too lemony, you may substitute the lemon juice with some milk and just add a little bit of lemon zest, but i much rather the glaze to be very tangy for the fact that the actual loaf is not too lemony. So you want to place your loaf on whatever you're going to be serving it and you want it to still be a bit warm when you pour over the glaze so it can stick a bit. And some people like to just pour it over but I like to grab a little brush and brush the glaze all over. I don't want any fighting over who got the most icing and etc. I like to avoid problems. So I cut into the lemon loaf and it kind of reminded me of glazed donuts. Note to self, must make glazed donuts. My favorite way of eating this is with a cup of coffee of course and I kind of like to serve it a bit warm to be honest I really really enjoyed this recipe like I said earlier this recipe belongs to Michael which he got from his mother you guys should totally pay Michael a visit he has a wonderful channel and I will be providing his link in the description box below I hope you guys give this recipe a try I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you all so much for watching